So, went down to uh, near Miami there in Lincoln Road with my friend, and we tried on the Easy NLSTD boots, size 11. I'm not a size 11. I was suggested to wear a size up or size and a half up. I'm a eight and a half or a nine, depending on what Easy or Adidas you're talking about. So I went down there, couldn't record much. Got 16 seconds worth. Before we were told not to record, if not, we'd be kicked out. Tried it on, they're comfortable as heck. They're shoe boots. Um, they're tall, they go almost to your mid upper cap, depending how tall you are. And in uh, my opinion, the colorway itself is not the prettiest. It's beige, so it's bad. But uh, like I said, if you're willing to pay the $500, knock yourself out. Living down here in South Florida, you're not going to use a shoe only if you're going to be going to like Colorado or to Chicago, New York, or uh, Boston or up in the ski slopes. Um, would I pay $500? No. Like I said, only if I lived up there in Chicago, which I don't anymore. First time I wore boots or shoe boots since, jeez, uh, 12 years old, 1992. So it's been a while. And uh, that's it. So that's what I think of it. And I unfortunately didn't have my size. The smallest they had was 11. So it felt weird. So put it that way, okay? So do I highly recommend it? Yeah, it's okay. So while you're watching this video, please like this video, subscribe to this video. I have more videos coming up that has to do with holidays. I'm planning to be traveling more and more and more. Hopefully next year things open up and I'm able to bring with you somewhere internationally and it would be a lot easier to go around and do stuff like this because if you hear where I live, you know, like what I'm trying to say, it is in a small environment area that I live. Although I live in the city, the population is uh, not so big. So meaning, you know, skyscrapers and stuff like that. I have to call down in gardens and West Palm Beach they didn't have the shoes themselves. The only place was down in Miami or Orlando and uh, we chose Miami because it's a lot faster and safer. Orlando's crazy with traffic and the rest going over there. I can probably stay with my brother, but I don't know. I'd rather just done Miami kind of thing, come back, go home kind of thing. So this video was done yesterday. Uh, just to let you know, I edited it and everything and uh, it's hard to record with copyrights and music and stuff. So we had to fix around that and had to uh, dub it out, the, you know, the background music. So that's just my opinion on the shoe. I give it four out of five stars. Uh, I think Yeezys and, and Adidas is catching up with regards to Nike, and they have since Kanye West joined forces with, with uh, Adidas. I will tell you that the Adidas shoes themselves are very comfortable compared to like an SB Dunks, I would say, but taller. That's just my opinion. Uh, I would have done the colorway if I bought it, gray or black or chocolate brown, if they do have those colorways. I believe they have it, like a gray and a muted black. So that would be my colorway, not for $500 though. So that's my review. Um, you know, I do have other shoes. I have Derrick Rose, I think season five home shoes. I have those. Uh, it was gifted by my brother that someone owed him money. So if says, oh, money, they gave him a, uh, those pair of shoes because, you know, we're from Chicago. Derrick Rose was a bull and from Chicago. And then I have uh, the Air Jordan Chicago's 2015. I have the Air Dior's. Uh, just to say, uh, the box was damaged and it was raffled off and I got it. Basically, that that's how I got them. The legit Air Jordan 7 2012. It's a little bit damaged. I can have somebody fix it. But that's what I really want besides wearing it and saving up and getting a new pair and not wearing it. And then uh, those are the three Air Jordans I have. I have the Easy Israel Reflectives that are nice. It's eight and a half. And then I have, let's see, I have the Travis Scott uh, Nike SB Dunks. And then I have also the uh, Friends and Family Raffled Off paid a lot of money for 
the SP Dunks uh, Ben and Jerry's. So just to let you guys know. And did that. And you're going to say, how did he get all that? Well, being an influencer on social media and also being a business partner and saving money and doing the things that are fun. And I enjoy that being fun. Besides traveling, I did that in the beginning. Uh, it's kind of a collection. I've been a sneakerhead since I was a teenager, since 12, 13 years old. I probably have a couple hundred hats that are worth a lot of money. And especially the Chicago Bulls ones that are the, you know, the original version of them so that's my collection hopefully you guys enjoy it please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this let me know i also did a buy me a pizza or buy me a coffee.com forward slash brandon cineville i have a link there on the community page as well as having it on the about you can go on youtube and there milestones let's see what's happened so far i hit a hundred thousand plus on rizzle i have 132,000 followers on rizzle if you don't know what rizzle is it's a lot like tiktok tiktok i'm about 10,000 followers so soon i could be able to be approved to be monetized so soon i'll be monetized on tiktok so help me out with that and also subscribe here and help me to get to 100,000 subscribers i want that play button Thank you. And uh, yeah, this is the shark camo vape hoodie. So yeah, this is the one that I posted that is, it is on, um, it's nice, right? It's on, uh, it is on Amazon. So, what, and I posted because I, sell stuff on Amazon but this is legit because I got this in Japan and uh, it was a store owner that sent it to me we've uh, made a, an agreement with uh, vlogging and shoes and unboxing so that's why I get all my stuff so anyways hopefully everything's okay with you I appreciate it thank you for subscribing I really 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 appreciate it thank you and see you in the next vlog thank you peace be safe